welcome or welcome back. I'm Melanie Kate Love, the self-love makeover artist, and today it is Q&A tea time. So I'm at the beach, I'm totally out of my comfort zone. When I was um, getting ready today, my angels were like, okay Mel, we're not gonna do this inside. I was like, Ugh. and I had like this massive like pain in my chest, but I was like, okay. I surrendered to the process and I set myself free. The angels always know best because they always lead me to my highest good. So I just went to the beach. I had a swim. Um, yeah. Oh my God. Oh, I had a banana. If you follow me on Insta Instagram, you would have seen my stories of everything that I've been up to. It's been a fabulous morning. I'm feeling so good. I haven't felt like this. I have, I don't know, every time I'm at the beach and I'm filming, I'm like super salty hair and I've got bikinis on, it literally reminds me of when um, I was in Hawaii. I don't know if you've been like a long-term follower of mine. That's actually when I, before I rebranded my account, that's when I was raw nourishment. Um, yeah, and I went to Hawaii, met an amazing spiritual healer. And anyway, so that kind of reminds me of that vibe. Anyway, so today I have all of the questions. Um, well, I picked out four questions and there was just so many questions. So thank you so much to each and every one of you that submitted a question to me over on my website. Oh, ah, I just threw an eagle just then. Um, oh my gosh, it just totally blows me away. And I just wanted to say, I am so proud of each and every one of you for literally reaching out because you've told me number one is that you want help and number two you were surrendering to the process you're like universe I'm going to Mel because I feel like that's the next step if I haven't answered your question I am so I, like I'm so sorry but I can't physically answer all of your questions which to me is like an amazing place to be that I have so many people that need my help so there's a number of things you can do Helicopter flying over, totally going with the flow, surrendering to the process. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, there's a number of ways I can help you. If you haven't already, please download my free self-love starter kit because in it, I'm going to teach you three simple strategies to get you in the process of starting to heal your own energetic blockages by yourself. If you're actually finding that that's a little too difficult and you need more intensive support, then book yourself a private spiritual reading because I would love to give you clarity. And oh my gosh, I just pressed on my boobs and my togs are like <laughs> still wet. And I've got like water dripping down me. Good Lord. Oh, okay. Anyways, I made the beautiful um, tea and spice specialty chai. The, that company sent me um, a packet like oh, about three months ago. And I was like trying to manifest them to send me another one but it wasn't coming through so I like surrendered to the process I was like you know what this makes me so flipping happy so I ended up buying myself a kilo bag and oh it's like heaven in a cup if only you could like just taste the pure delicious goodness it's like a chai that I've never had before it's got like a lemon myrtle aftertaste anyway so let me quickly read the questions and let's get cracking after a four minute intro sorry guys Okay, today's first question comes from Amanda. Now, Amanda actually didn't send this through Q&A tea time. She um, emailed me um, in response to, or she, she downloaded the Self Love Starter Kit and then the third email that I sent out was called Pain Plus Forgiveness Equals Love and it really resonated with her and she had a couple of questions around that. So Amanda's question is, how do I forgive myself when no one taught me how to do that? Amanda, absolutely fabulous question. I love that for so many reasons. Number one is because you are willing to forgive, which is so, so powerful. And um, you also went on to say that you were raised in a shame-based family and that you want to teach your daughters the importance of self-love and forgiveness. Oh my gosh, if every mother in this world literally wanted to teach the, their children forgiveness and self-love we could literally heal the world it just like so I can tell that you are such a beautiful soul Amanda and 
thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Okay, so I have a number of tips for you. I've actually written quite a lot. So I think what's truly beautiful is that because you're saying that no one taught you, I feel like, oh, there's a massive crab over there. Good Lord. I feel like, like on my journey, I'll just give you a personal story. I was never taught how to love myself. Um, but the contrast, so that's like the opposing spectrum, was what showed me what I didn't want to do. I, sh I was, um, how do I say this in a nice way? I feel like the people that are raising us and our influencers, these people are doing the very best they can with the knowledge and understanding that they have at the time. So if they were to know about how to teach you forgiveness and self-love, they would have flipped and taught you, but they haven't, they didn't have those strategies and tools in their little self-love toolkit. So what's beautiful is that we need to take responsibility for ourselves. And as the saying goes, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. And for me on my self-love journey, I saw the contrast and mainly through my dad and through um, an ex-partner. And I saw with my dad what happens when you have blockages and how they can manifest illness and disease within your life and how, you know, it just, it really breaks my heart when I see people who are not living their truth and are not in a job that they love and are, not, and are not surrounded by people that worship the ground that they walk on. A relationship that I was in, a very toxic relationship, it lasted for four years, which was about like eight years ago now, maybe even more, I don't even know. And that relationship broke me down. Like, I mean, picture this. I remember there was a time, I don't even know if I've told Peter this, I was literally sitting on the ground. I had just had this massive fight with my ex. I remember sitting in my bedroom on the floor, knees up against my chest, banging my head on the back door, screaming out for attention. And I was, I, I caught myself in the moment. I was like, what the F are you doing, Mel? Like, what are you doing? And it was like, I was, I could see myself. It was like, I don't know, like, a realization like I see myself out of it and I was like you are not this person why are you doing this and it, oh my gosh I actually posted um, a really beautiful quote on Instagram today and it was saying like I am so thankful for allowing um, my ex partners to treat me like to mistreat me because it taught me the importance Oh, I can't remember it off the top of my head. Basically just saying like, send love to those situations because those situations are literally defining the, the beautiful soul that you are evolving into. Um, yeah, it's like everything that you've been through, like Amanda, you said that you've, you've been raised in a shame-based family. What's beautiful is that you are breaking the cycle because you're saying, I am not going to be like that to my daughters. Hence the reason why you have made it a priority to talk about, to model self-love and forgiveness to your girls. So I feel like you are on the right path. I actually have created a Forgiveness Heals Guided Visualization, which is now live on um, my shop. And that is a really powerful, powerful 30 minute guided visualization. And I like have married it with um, beautiful sound healing vibes too so you're kind of getting a visualization slash sound healing that's why it's so powerful Amanda if you are ready to forgive I highly recommend that you download that it is actually $5.55 until January 1st and then I'm going to raise the price to $9.99 so if you want it get in quick now um, and in that you will literally hear me getting a little bit teary because I'm picturing the person that I'm trying to forgive in that and you know it's really difficult to heal and like whenever I'm healing there's always tears involved and I have learned that crying is a way to cleanse your soul from the inside out and it hurts and it hurts and it hurts but when you cry enough tears to release that situation it's like you feel free again and you just feel like in your power and if you could literally, Amanda, sit down, meditate to your girls. Like if you're having a hard time and just say to the girls, oh, mommy just needs some time, some self-love time. 
model, putting your headphones in, laying down, however meditation looks like for you, that is literally planting seeds in the girl's head. Like, just imagine if everyone grew up seeing their parents meditate when the shit hits a fan, you know? Amanda, you're already doing incredibly well. You are already on the right path. I can tell that you are such a beautiful mum and you want the best for your kids. So have a conversation with them, depending how old they are, and just like saying, you know, mommy doesn't feel too good right now. She just needs some time out to think. Or not to think, to like, to just be. Because when we're being, it just, everything, it just makes everything better. Anyway, I've spent way too long on that question. Um, yeah, I've covered it all. Amanda, there's your question. There's your answer. Okay, next one comes from Julie. Julie asks, how do I allow an intimate relationship into my life? Ooh, fabulous question. Julie goes on to say that she was in a relationship for three years ago, but she wasn't herself. I can totally relate to that. Um, she said, I love life and I'm truly happy without love and I don't need it. I saw massive red flags in your self-talk when you said that. You said you spent a lot of time concentrating on yourself, which I think is absolutely amazing because you can identify, um, Julie, like how far you've come. Like you realize that's not you in a relationship. And I think what's truly beautiful about what you're asking is that you need to surrender to the process and leave it up to divine timing. You are on the right path. For me, I was slowly on the right path. You know, I was on the right path for seven years before I manifested my fiance and he was worth every single moment. And I got to a point where I loved being single. Like, I mean, I have, I have a beautiful life now, but I had a beautiful life before too. And I always said to myself, you know, it's gonna take someone flipping amazing for me to not want this single life. And when I met Peter and he walked through my front door, which I was like, what? You just literally walked through my front door? Um, you just, it's just like, I feel like you need to surrender to the process because you're saying like, it's been three years, where is he? I'm doing all this work, tick, tick, tick. That is resistance in your vibration and the universe is like, dude, we're gonna take a little bit longer because you need to, you're not allowing the manifestation to unfold. Your self-talk is something I would highly recommend that you work on um, because you're saying like, you don't need it. So what if you were just saying, I allow a beautiful, healthy, vibrant, loving relationship to enter my life when the universe feels that it's right for me. Like saying, I allow a beautiful relationship when it's the right time. I don't feel like you're saying you don't need it because by saying you don't need it, the universe is like, she doesn't need it. No guys, no guys are coming into the equation. So just be like, I would love a beautiful, healthy relationship to enter my life. You're not saying when it's going because I feel like when people say get involved with like time frames and stuff, it totally messes you up. Well, that's how I feel. Oh my gosh. Let's drink some more tea, shall we? I hope you guys are like sitting down with a cup of tea. I know a couple of you emailed me and were like, Mel, it's Q&A tea time. I just uh, made a cup of tea and I'm sitting down watching a video. I was like, yes, that's exactly how I want this to go down. All right, let me just see if I've covered everything. Um, oh, okay, I missed one. Um, Julie, what I would love for you to do, watch my video, How to Manifest Anything. It was from a year ago, but it is the first video in my Law of Attraction playlist. Why is that golden? Because in it, I teach you 10 fabulous tips. It's kind of um, like the breakdown of what you need to do and exactly the process that I followed to manifest my fiance. Um, I think number one is like write down your list, write down everything you want, visualize exactly what you want and feel the emotions associated with it as if you've already got your partner with you. That is the secret, feeling the emotions because if you're not feeling it, then there's resistance in your vibration. So you need to spend a little bit more time working on that. Um, you could write like in regards, I feel like there's always forgiveness that comes with every before every manifestation. And write a letter to yourself or to your partner or however you want to do it when you were in that, that relationship three months ago and just say like, thank you so much for teaching me 
what I don't want to be. Thank you so much for um, allowing me to fine tune what I want. Um, thank you for, you know, start writing down a list. I've actually um, mentioned this in, um, what is it? It's in my relation, uh, release blockages playlist over on my YouTube channel. It's, I think it's episode like 13 or 14. It's the first two videos that I uploaded. So they're super old. So scroll right to the bottom. Okay, Julie, hope that helps. Gosh, we're at 15 minutes already and I have two more questions. I'll be really quick, okay? This question comes from Jen and she says, how do I clear my weight loss blockages? Love that question because I am the perfect person to help you out with that because if you guys are following my story, you would know that I was a lot bigger than I am now. I don't really want to say how much I've lost and I probably need to update my about section because I was like, I lost 10 kilos, three dress sizes. But I feel like when we get caught up in the numbers game, it just messes with your head. Big time. Um, hold on, this is so good. I just love q and time. And there's no one at the beach, it's so good. I manifested that, I was like, angels, come on. You want me to go out to the beach? Can you just make it a little easy on my first time? Cause I don't, I love filming at home. It's my comfort zone, but the comfort zone doesn't make you grow. Okay, how do I clean my weight loss blockages? So Jen said, she used to be a size four. So I'm assuming you're American because in Australia, our smallest size is eight six sometimes but it's very rare um so you used to be a marathoner and a lifter you have since put on 30 pounds in a semester i have no idea what pounds is what the conversion from pounds to kilograms is but i'm assuming it's quite a lot you said i am now eating healthy doing my self-love practices my manifestations are coming to fruition which is amazing but you feel like a blob okay Whew, this is a tricky one. Okay, first of all, Jen, I want you to think about what was going on around you before the weight started going on. Like, what was the event that triggered the weight gain? Because you don't put on 30 pounds in a semester if you haven't been through some type of like crisis or some type of mental like it could be some like mental challenges emotional challenges there was an event that triggered that so I want you to think back to the time in which that happened I'm sure you can identify exactly what that is that event is going to be the event that's going to set you free and it's going to help you lose no I don't want to say lose the weight help your body restore itself to its natural state of health oh my gosh it is getting so flipping hot out here right now Whew. and Okay, when I, I realized for me, for my weight gain happened when I left that toxic four year relationship and I had, was struggling with like self esteem, anxiety, everything. I like went back home to mum and dad for four months, saved my butt up, butt up, butt off, booked a one way ticket to London, moved in with five of the most beautiful Canadians who I still adore to this very day. And that time was my time to be crazy, to like get everything out of my system. I drank way too much. I didn't understand what it meant to nourish my body, mind and soul. I was in another toxic relationship with an older man. If you read that book, um, Father Therapy from Doreen Virtue, she's co-authored it with somebody else. Holy flip. And it, to me, it was like, when you date older men, that is a reflection of a daddy issue and oh, there's so many other things involved with it. Anyway, highly recommend read, reading Fire Earth Therapy. I had to put it down. It was a little bit too traumatic for me to read. Don't read it at night time. It's not good before you go to sleep. Um, um, there's also a lot of forgiveness with yourself and you need to say, I am where I am and it's okay. You have already made the change, Jen. You have literally identified that you need to do self-love practices. You know that you need to eat healthy. So I feel like you need to have strategies in place when things get hectic. And what are your triggers? Work out what your triggers are and how to change them. I used to emotionally eat. 
I still do at times, but I don't do it to the extent because I catch myself out a lot quicker and be like, hey Mel, it's okay if you messed up. It's okay because you know, tomorrow's a new day. I used to sabotage myself and eat like a lot of chocolate. What did I used to do? I can't even remember now, it was such a long time ago, but I used to use food as my way to hurt myself. It's like, oh yeah, you've already eaten one packet of biscuits. The second one's okay, you've already done enough damage. So, you know, add more to it. Just so sick to say that out loud. So, work out, Jen, what your triggers are and change it for healthy alternatives. I started, I then created, because I was binging on chocolate, I then created a recipe that model, you know, the, um, the Cool Mint Chocolate Cliff Bars and the peanut butter ones? Another airplane, I don't know if you can see. No. You can hear it. Every time I see an airplane, I visualize myself going somewhere really fabulous. It's a Jetstar aeroplane, so I'm visualizing flying back home to Mackay to see my family. And then other times I'm like, oh, I can't wait to go to Ireland with my partner and meet all his family. And oh, Okay, so yeah. So find a healthy alternative. Oh yeah, that's what I was saying. So I was like doing like uh, sabotaging myself with chocolate. Then I changed it to a healthier version and made like cool mint chocolate slice, which is like oats, dates, water peppermint essential oils probably something else can't remember and it's so good it's so good um, and I just switched it for healthy alternatives so I found what the issue was and then I switched it for a healthy alternative and then as you go on like I hardly eat that food anymore like it though it's like uh, I don't know how to explain it it gets easier as time goes on um, I feel like, oh, that's it. Mirror work is totally gonna work wonders for you. So I was actually watching this um, Lisa someone video recently. I saw her on the Lewis Howes podcast and she speaks about this mirror work technique, which I've been a massive fan of mirror work technique because of Louise L. Hay. And in the video, she talks about love, forgive and commit. So each day in the mirror, um, she would say, Mel, I love you for blah, blah, blah. Um, she would say seven things, which I think is beautiful for the seven chakras. Then she would say, Mel, I commit to you, uh, I forgive you for and list seven things. And then she would say, I commit to you and list seven things. So that's actually something that I am wishing to do for myself because, you know, we all have blockages. Even though you, like, I'm really good at manifesting things. I'm a human and there's still issues and stuff that I am working through. I just am now trying to see them as like as love, like send them so much love. So I want you to, to say, um, say, Jen, I love you for, and list seven things you love about, I forgive you for gaining 30 pounds. I forgive you for making bad choices in the past. I forgive you for, just list stuff seven, and then say, I commit to nourishing and healing your body my body mind and soul i commit to you for doing 30 minutes of my self-love practices every single flipping day because it's going to make you feel amazing it's going to put you in alignment with your true authentic self and when you have that connection it's like you are unstoppable like you are literally unstoppable oh which is the best place to be and then also you need to let, download my Forgiveness Heals visualization too because that was totally going to help you. I feel like everyone needs forgiveness in their life. There is something that you can forgive. Oh, I just love it. Do I have time for one more question? No, we're already at 24 minutes. So I'm just going to leave it at three questions for today. Thank you so much. Oh, my teeth fell over. Thank you so much to each and every one of you that took the time to submit a question for Q&A tea time. To get the flow of when Q&A tea time comes around, <clears throat> it's whenever I release a general um, spiritual reading on my channel, the next video that follows will always be Q&A tea time. So if you would love to ask a question, please submit it on the link below or melaniekatelove.com forward slash questions. You can, yeah, I have links for it everywhere down below on my Instagram, it's just everywhere. And I want you, 
to take the time and be like, okay, what isn't working in my life? And if you can't work out what the clarity is or you're not in tune with listening to your intuition, write to me. I would love to hear from you. And also, I just want to give you a big hug and just say that you, everything you were going through is divinely orchestrated. It is literally preparing you for your highest good. And that is a beautiful place to be. Whether you have have like Jen and you have weight loss issues that you are struggling with or you're like Julie and you want to allow an intimate relationship or like Amanda who is wanting to be a beautiful role model to her girls and she wants to show them how to forgive and the importance of self-love and you know each and every one of you are on a beautiful journey so celebrate exactly where you are send so much love and gratitude because you know what your pain is going to be the most beautiful success story as you clear through those blockages. I am living proof that anything is possible. Anything is possible. So believe that, trust that. I love you guys. And I will see you next episode. Remember, continue to make better choices. And oh, just say, I am where I am and it's okay. Love you guys. Goodbye.